U.S. President Biden is considering two tough new countermeasures to stop Russia. Russia's achievements on the Ukraine front are forcing the White House to reconsider some of its so-called red lines. To counter Russia's offensive in Ukraine, U.S. President Joe Biden is considering two new tough countermeasures, columnist David Ignatz writes in his column for the Washington Post. The point is to punish China for supplying key technologies to Moscow and to lift restrictions on Ukraine's use of American short-range weapons to attack Russian territory. These steps would represent a significant escalation of Biden's carefully calibrated policy of supporting Ukraine to avoid direct confrontation with Putin or his key ally Xi Jinping. The fact that such steps are now being considered shows the administration's growing concern about Ukraine's vulnerability on the battlefield, noted the author. It is pointed out that the threat of new sanctions against China is especially sensitive since it arises at a time when both countries are trying to stabilize their relations. But US officials are concerned that Beijing, while formally honoring its promise not to supply weapons to Moscow, has become a major enabler of the Russian defense sector and its full-scale invasion of Ukraine. It is noted that China is the largest supplier to Russia of 50 high-priority dual-use goods and also supplies about 70% of Russian imports of machine tools and 90% of imported microelectronics. In addition, China is providing Russia with satellite technology that could be critical for communications and targeting in strikes against Ukraine. The columnist adds that US officials are equally concerned that Russia is massing troops and equipment on the border to attack Kharkov and other cities in eastern Ukraine. American artillery and short-range missiles could hit these targets without threatening deep strikes on Russia. But for now, the United States is limiting their use inside Ukraine so it cannot strike large Russian logistics and troop assembly centers directly abroad. But that could change as other NATO countries put pressure on Biden to loosen controls. The author suggests that we may be approaching another turning point in Ukraine. As China increasingly leans toward a partnership with a newly dominant Russia, Biden is weighing whether to deepen his alliance with Kiev. That would bring new risks, but it would make sense if it could bolster a shaky Ukraine and restore balance at the negotiating table at which this war must ultimately be settled. An F-35 Lightning II aircraft has crashed near Albuquerque International Sunport, New Mexico. According to KOB4, the pilot would be conscious and breathing and has been taken to the hospital. Though the F-35 is flown by the Air Force, Navy and Marine Corps, the F-35B was a development test aircraft owned by Lockheed Martin, a defense official said. An F-35B en route from Fort Worth, Texas, to Edwards Air Force Base, California, crashed after a refueling stop at Kirtland Air Force Base, New Mexico, Lockheed Martin said in a statement. The pilot safely ejected. Safety is our priority, and we will follow appropriate investigation protocol. Two civilians were also assessed at the scene, but did not require transport to a hospital. Jason Feger, a spokesperson for Albuquerque Fire Rescue, said that multiple agencies responded to the crash. The plane went down near the airfield on the south side of the Sunport, the airport reported on social media. According to Feger, the pilot was able to exit the plane and was hospitalized with serious injuries. The pilot was last reported to be in stable condition at the University of New Mexico Hospital, the Kirtland spokesperson said. Aerial footage from KOB-TV showed local firefighters dousing the wreckage. Fire crews were able to extinguish the blaze, Feger said. The F-35B is a short takeoff and vertical landing aircraft that is used by the Marine Corps. Um, it'll be just a few minutes as soon as we get further information uh, we'll pass along, but uh, we might be sitting here for a few minutes now.